Hi, so now we are going to check out the phase vocoder. We open the application from KApps window and here you can see that we have access to uh, six different tracks, six up to six different audio files that you can import here. You can adjust the, the pitch and the speed as well as the output level for each individual file and the panning. There is a modulation window for each of the files. That is why the modulation is not out in the KApps window. And when you open it, you can see that the parameter destinations are correspond to the different parameters in the phase vocoder. Like the pitch speed, you can change it by semitone or continuously, uh, transport, panning, gain, as well as modulation, turning the lines on. Um, and as in all of the other modulations, we have Again, the global user tables that um, affect the, sent the, the data coming in from the sources uh, right before they arrive at the par parameter destination. So let's start by bringing this level down, which we already have. And I am going to select the cage vocoder. Now this modulation I am going to change a little bit. Um, because right now what is happening is that it's using the length to scrub through the audio file but it is also using RF lock to bring the gain all the way up and I think that that's a little too loud so I am going to change this to 45 and uh, so I can already hear that it affected the volume and I could see in the slider in the fader um, that it uh, has come down and that is only because right now the bow is near enough the emitter so that it, it activates this um, modulation line. I can close this. I will bring the main output a little down. And actually I will add to that modulation just because um, it's fun. Um, another modulation line that will take the bridge data and turn it into panning so that um, depending on where I am in relationship to the bridge, depending on where the bow is in relationship to the bridge, um, it will change the panning of the sound, uh, it will change the panning of the audio uh, left or right. So now for this one I don't even need to play the violin, all I have to do is just uh, Run the length of the bow, John Cage. and it will play the audio file. Because this particular preset says that um, I am scrubbing with my bow. So I can go as slowly as I want, backwards or forwards, or stay in one spot, go fast, slow. And then you can also see the panning, depending on where I am in the bridge, left, right, left, right. You can play along with this, you can... All I need to do is just bring the bow out of the um, RF range in relationship to the emitter, um, and it will bring the gain down. So. I can also, I have access to other samples um, that come with the application. And these are Cage, Daisy, Freedom, Ginsburg, Gong, Laughing, Mark, Warhol. Uh, you also can uh, import into this phase vocoder the loops that you have recorded in Kaloop. If you want to add your own files to this folder, um, you just would need to go to the cable folder and there is a folder in there that's uh, labeled samples and that's where all your audio files live and so all you have to do is just drop the files that you want to use in the phase vocoder in this uh, folder make sure that you restart apps k apps and um, and they will appear right there on that drop down menu in the phase vocoder